the truth is done for me. What the truth is done for me. It taught me nationality. It taught me nationality. It taught me how a man should be. It taught me how a man should be. Oh, 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 how they gotta come back to this law, statute, commandments of the Most High, by Shema Mashiach, I was shy. You know? You see the few fruit out there. It's beautiful when the Most High open up our people's minds to see the truth, you know? Yeah. Open up their minds to see what they need to see to come back to the beautiful sheepfold. The most high, the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. So, can I be heard okay on the conference call? Anybody have any questions? I want to I wanna get to Colossians 317. I'll come up with your questions. I, um, I want to read something. Read that, Colossians 317. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Con. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all by Hashem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Giving thanks to Yahweh by Hashem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Right, so all that we say and do is going to be in the name of the anointed Savior. We give thanks to the Most High by Hashem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. That's in the name of the anointed Savior. So I want to go over something and see if y'all can figure this out. But uh, give, it, give me Exodus 25. We're going to read from 31 to 37. Read that. Exodus chapter 25, verse 31. And thou shalt make a candlestick of pure gold. So this is what the Most High said. Through the Spirit, he said, you're supposed to make a candlestick of pure gold. The candlestick, which is called the menorah. Read. Of beaten work shall the candlestick be made. His shaft and his branches, his bowls, his knots and his flowers shall be of the same. So now it says all these things, the branches have to be all the same. And the bowls have to be all the same. His knobs have to be all the same. And his flowers shall be all of the same, all the same. Read. And six branches shall come out of the sides of it. All the same. Six branches have to be all the same. Read. Three branches of the candlestick out of the one side, and three branches of the candlestick out of the other side. Right. Three branches out of one side, three branches out of the other side. Read. Three bowls made like unto almonds, with a knot and a flower in one branch, and three bowls made like almonds in the other branch, with a knot and a flower. So in the six branches, that come out of the candlestick. So it's six branches that's coming out of the candlestick. Read. And in the candlestick shall be four bowls made like unto almonds, with their knots and their flowers. Right. On top of these branches. These are the bowls that go on top of the menorah. Read. And there shall be a knot under two branches of the same, and a knot under two branches of the same and a knot under two branches of the same, according to the six branches that proceed out of the candlestick. Right, so you got six branches proceeding out of one stem. Read. And it's telling you how the knobs should be under two branches, under two branches, under two branches. These are knobs that's under two branches. Go ahead. Their knobs and their branches 
shall be of the same. All it shall be one be beaten work of pure gold. So they all got to be the same. Read. And thou shalt make the seven lamps thereof, and they shall light the lamps thereof, that they may give light over against it. Right, so now, that's the menorah. So you're looking at the menorah of all, every, every last thing is the same. So how do you, how would you take six branches that are the same size, they all the same size, to put them on one stem? How would you do that? Because what we have is a replica of something that's not the true menorah as they had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if you look at it, you draw it from a, a figurative perspective, you will see that it looks like what we do have in having one, two, three, four, five, six going this way. Mm -hmm. But how do you, They all the branches are the same. Mm -hmm. They all got to be the same size. So how do you do that with all the branches being the same size? Mm -hmm. On one candlestick, one, one, one candlestick in the middle, and you have six that's got, you got, you know, a branch here, a branch there, a branch there, whatever. How do you do that to make them uniformly to show light? But if you do that, you can you can have them, one branch coming across here, one branch coming across there, and one crash, crash going in the middle. Mm -hmm. One in the middle, one like this, the same size. Because mm -hmm. you can't, they can't be the same size like that on one stick. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you have one, one in the middle, the stick in the middle, and you have the branches that's gonna be the same. Everything gotta be the same. So the branch, all the way you can do that is crisscross them. Mm -hmm. Now one coming in the middle like this, going this way, you got one going that way, and you got one going crossway, just like you have an atom. Mm -hmm. You look at an atom, it's like six points. So when you look down upon this, this menorah, what does it look like? Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. For the branches to be the same, you know? So when people be tripping on the shield and all of this, but that's, I mean, that's what the Most High is telling us right here. The, the menorah has to be made as a shield. When you look down upon it, you hold it up, it's like you see these lamps. They like come out like this, like that, and like this. You got, if you hold that up, you got a lot of light because you got light out here, out there, out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Here, all spread six out. corners spread out mm -hmm. rather than going across like that. You see what I'm saying? So that's the true menorah. You look at it as six sides. I just wanted to share that. Anybody have any questions tonight? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Um, my, my name is Jan. Okay. Well, How you doing? With? Hmm? Who am I speaking with? It's Priest Dalwam. Oh, hi. How you doing? Hi. Bye. Okay. Yeah. one to see because each one of the books of the New Testament is addressed to someone. So let's see what it's addressed to. Let's read that in Galatians. Galatians 1 and 1 is going, since you want the book of Galatians, we're going to go to who the book was, who Paul was, is talking to. Let's read that. Man, that's something a little, whoa. Mm -hmm. Spirit, go ahead. Galatians chapter 1 verse 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by men, but by Mashiachai and the Most High, the Father, who raised him from the dead. Right. So Paul is identified with himself, you know. Go ahead. Verse 2. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Right. So all the brethren which are with him unto the churches of Galatia. So when you understand that 
he's talking to the brethren who was, who was Paul. When you read Romans 11, chapter, the first verse, Paul identifies himself as such, and his brethren would be the same. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people? The Most High forbid. So the Most High has not cast away his people. And we have to understand that when we read in the New Testament, there is no New Testament. Paul don't have a New Testament to go by. These are letters that he wrote to someone in the land of Galatia. Called themselves the Galatians. So read that again. I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people? The Most High forbid. So his people are who? The 12 tribes of Israel. And there is no New Testament written when the Mashiach Yahweh walked the earth, when Matthew, Mark, Luke, or any of the apostles walked the earth, there is no New Testament written. All they had was the law and the prophets. So it has to coincide with what they had to go by, and that's the law and the prophets. The, the New Testament wasn't compiled until 325 A.D., during the Council of Nicaea, during Constantine, Constantine, Constantine after the fall of uh, Constantinople. So let's read. For I also am an Israelite. So Paul himself is who? An Israelite. An Israelite, read. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham, read. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. If you walked the earth today, he would be a so-called Jamaican. Because he was mistaken for an Egyptian. All these things can be proven in the scripture. They have mistaken him for an Egyptian, an African. But he's an Israelite. Read. Verse 2. The Most High had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Right. So that's of the past. He had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Okay, let's go back to Galatians. Let's read Galatians 1 and 3. Because we have to identify who is talking to. Galatians 1 and 3. We're going, to go, we're going to go to Galatians 3 to so give an understanding of what it's talking about, too. Galatians chapter 1. Sorry. Galatians chapter. Okay, what? Verse 3. Galatians chapter 3. No, Galatians chapter 1, verse 3. Galatians chapter 1, verse 3. Grace be to you and peace from the Most High, the Father. And from our from our power Hamashiach Yahushai. Right. Go ahead. Who gave himself for our sins. Who so gave himself for our sins, read. That he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of the Most High and our Father. Right. So it's very key that we look at here who gave himself for our sins. Our is a personal or possessive pronoun showing ownership. That he might deliver us. Who is this our and who is this us who gave, who Mashiach was shy, gave himself up for the sins of? Acts 5 30 and 31. And we, we get understanding, we get understanding through the precepts. That's what, you know, the reason why we're going here is the, because by the time we get to Galatians, the third chapter, we got to know who it's talking to. Because it said, who gave himself because he's talking to the, the brothers the brethren that's in Galatia they're in Galatia calling themselves Galatians like we in America calling ourselves American the brothers that's in England call themselves Englanders or whatever they call themselves over there you know what I mean the ones in Russia call themselves Russians but they still are people they're, they're still so-called Negroes we might say since that's who we are at this time mostly but they still call themselves Russians we, like we still call ourselves Americans. Because of what? The land that we live in. I guess my subject matter is more so about the, the end of the law and Right, I know. Okay, well, this is how we get understanding because I, you asked the question, I got to edify everyone. But I'm going to get there. I'm going there. We're just going here now because we have to establish the fact of 
who Christ sins, who, who, who sins Christ covered. And it's clear it's going to answer that question, right? Because it says who gave himself for our sins. This is who it's talking to. So it's not talking to everyone, every people. Matter, matter of fact, it's, it's very important that we understand this so that by the time we get to Galatians 3rd chapter, we understand point blank, without a shadow of a doubt, who Christ died for and who Paul is talking to in the land of Galatia. Period. That's what we're doing. It's not going, we're just going here. We're going to go, back. We're going to, go to Galatians 3rd chapter. We're going to go there. Let's read that. Five. Acts 5, 30 and 31. Acts chapter 5, verse 30 and 31. The power of our fathers raised up Hamashikamashai, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Because the, the wicked Israelites gave him over to the Romans to be killed. Read. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right.